the end of last season, I received a gift from a friend. Um, I got this lovely yoke pad uh, to use for my canoe and um, I haven't gotten a chance to try it out because I didn't do any major portaging trips or anything and I didn't want to just bring it on one and then find out I didn't like it and then be stuck with it. So um, I usually use this little neck pillow that I got from the Dollarama and uh, I just attach it like so, either with some strings or some bungees. I couldn't find the bungees right now. Um, so this has three Velcro straps at the back and uh, I'm gonna attach it. Um, so last Friday I was out here uh, filming my promo video for my course that I created on Udemy um, to show people how to backcountry camp. And um, during the promo video, I thought it would be a great idea to bring the canoe down uh, the bottom of the hill that I tobogganed down a few months ago um, because it was the best place to shoot. There was a good light there and it was later in the day. So um, I did that and then I had to pick it up and put it down about, I don't know, 15 or 20 times because I couldn't get the take right. And then I had to go back up the hill, bring the canoe back and then take the kayak out and hold it on my shoulder. Anyways, long story short, it showed me that I am really out of shape. So I thought, why not just bring the canoe out here and go up and down the hill a couple of times and start training so I can do some uh, portage exercising and get ready for the season. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I thought since I was doing that and I'm right here at home, um, I can test out this yoke pad and see if I like it and see how it is. So um, right away, I really like that it's very secure and uh, it's attached really nicely so it doesn't move around sometimes this will flop around sometimes it'll like you know go underneath the paddle so um, it is really comfortable but if you look at it it isn't it, it is it looks thicker than this but these kind of little beads inside will spread out and then it flattens quite a bit so um, this might be better I don't know so um, I'm gonna give it a go and see how it is <laughs> Well, that felt pretty good. Um, the neck thing didn't really feel any different than the one that I um, have been using. Uh, so I like that because it is a little bit easier. It's a bit more compact. And uh, like I said, it's more secure on the actual um, yoke than the other one is. And then I don't have to worry about the bungees or the strings and tying it. It's got the Velcro already attached. So uh, I'm gonna go down another time, maybe two more times and see how I feel and uh, get a nice burn in my legs. and. That way uh, I can start getting ready for the season. not quite as soft as my pillow I don't think but I think if I was using the pillow my neck would probably still be sore um, I guess the only way to find out is to go down one more time with the pillow <laughs> I'm out of shape wow. all right let's give her it's gonna start raining any minute First, when I put it on, I was like, yeah, this feels softer here. Um, but as I walked, I felt the same pain in the back of my neck. It's from being out of practice and just not doing it. And, you know, portaging is never 100% comfortable no matter what you do. Um, I don't find much difference between the two of them, except that, as you can see, uh, when I got back, Hang on, I'll grab the camera. When I got back, I took the canoe off and it was fine. But as soon as I did that, I usually use bungees here. I, I couldn't locate them. I just came out really quick before it rained. Um, it's actually starting right now. But as you can see, it, it came undone. And when I took it off, 
this was like this. So this digging into your shoulder is not super comfortable. So my general feedback on the yoke pad is really good. Um, like I said, I don't find much difference with the uh, using this or the pillow, um, but it is a lot more stable and secure and uh, it feels almost as good or just as good. So I'm going to give this a try on some of my trips this year. And thank you to Tracy uh, for sending it to me. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm looking forward to using it more and seeing how it is. See you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.